Sunny Banani friends. Welcome back to our Mdoni vlog series. My name is Melinda Babb and I'm glad that you can join us again for this new year. It's been a few months so we are very excited to catch you up on uh, what we've been doing this year. Um, first though I want to introduce you to my husband Brandon Babb. He's going to be taking over for me for a little bit as I will be out of office for a while. So Brandon, let's yeah, thanks Melinda, and uh, hello everyone. I can't wait to journey with you. Melinda's done such a great job being host, and I just want to show you, catch you up on what's happening. Since our last update, we've had a lot of rain. Every single day for almost three months, it's been raining. But what that's really brought to the farm is a lot of growth and life. Um, and even behind me, there's a lot of weeds, but we're not discouraged because when we first started, this this whole landscape was just dead. There was no life in the soil, but now even with weeds we're encouraged because at least we're getting really tall weeds, really tall grass, and really nice looking maize behind that. Permaculture teaches that weeds have a use, and, and we usually in the western world we try to fight weeds with everything in us, but we've actually been using weeds on the farm to help us accomplish a specific goal which is replenishing the health of the soil. Uh, permaculture teaches that there are 200 dormant seeds for every square foot of ground and the seeds need specific conditions in the soil to be able to sprout to life. So one seed might help break up tough ground, one seed might help push nutrients like nitrogen into the soil and only the seed that's needed pops up. So we're not discouraged when we see these weeds. A lot of the other farmers who've come onto our land have pointed these weeds out and said you have a soil deficiency, these only show when there's a soil deficiency. And we've been saying, I know, it's great. They're actually bringing what the soil needs back into the soil for us. So we could cut these down and do it the hard way where we're putting in things we're buying from the store or we can just let them do their job. And as, as the grass grows, it'll grow taller than the weeds and the weeds will eventually have no place and die. Another thing to note with these weeds that shocked Melinda and I is that they're actually edible. Not, not just that, they taste great. Uh, the Swazis kind of strip them apart and cook them in peanut butter, of all things, and it, it tastes amazing. So for us, we see it as another crop where kind of the neighboring farms see it as a pest. So we love that whole concept of permaculture that you can change your mindset and see a usefulness in just about anything. These weeds are bringing about true sustainability onto our farm. Um, they are assisting our staff. We don't have to transport as many materials to the farm. They're feeding our animals. And when we have crazy rains, instead of having everything washed through, it's actually helping the water seep into our aquifer. So they're part of an amazing resiliency system that's, that's really helping the farm altogether. Here we have an example of an intercropping system working really well. We have our pumpkin, our maize, and our blackjack all contributing one, uh, each plant is bringing a benefit to the other. Maybe it's shade, wind protection, or putting nitrogen in the soil. But what they're all doing is they're a designed ecosystem where the plants are doing the work instead of us. So we get to just let them work and we get to enjoy the benefits. Most of the times in the societies and uh, the communities that we live in uh, and Mzwandile here can attest to that, that our communities have always believed uh, how things have always been done and it's not easy for them to leave those uh, those beliefs because they think they are the, always the right path. But here at Umtoni we, we come with a heart that innovates things and that wants to uh, uh, creatively respond to the changes that we are facing uh, nowadays because nowadays we have a challenge with climate change and uh, the issues of rain. So we want to creatively and innovatively find ways on how we can still achieve great uh, yields out of the small portions that we have uh, and the small rains that we receive each year. So we are very excited that the students have been exposed to this way of farming. They are still being exposed. We still have a lot of future to journey with them. Uh, they have been exposed, for instance, in the maize, uh, how we grew the maize and uh, from start to finish, as you can see, this is the harvesting stage right now. 
very very soon we'll be taking this maize to a mill and we'll be eating pap very very nice pap from this uh, so it's such a great impact from the staff and from the students to to have seen the first the beginning process of this way of farming up until it reaches to to the plate uh, to the kitchen where we are eating now pap so there's going to be a lot of uh, implementation and applications of this especially as we are going to winter now very very soon we'll be starting uh, spring uh, a lot of people will be starting these things at their homes especially this way of growing uh, our maize because uh, almost 80 percent or 90 percent of uh, the population of Southland grows maize so once we come up with a sustainable way of growing maize uh, a lot of people will be encouraged to to learn this way and invest in their soil because this is an investment to the to their soil and thus an inv investment to the communities and the country at large because now we have uh, food security for a long long time to come this is my good friend sabello he's our permaculture driver uh, i wanted him just to explain what we're seeing here i'm standing under uh, the patient fruit uh, granadilla this is a wonderful fruit in the garden as you can see up here it got a lot of fruits, a uh, good yield, a good yield. Uh, we take this beneficially for our animals and even for us because it in, in, increase our immune system as we are eating it. It's very good. The taste is enjoyable. You can make a, a, a drink with this, uh, add a, a little of lemon, which you got some lemon that side that are coming. So this is a very wonderful fruit. In the, I like this fruit. As you can see, it spread a lot, a, 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 a big space here. It can creep all over here. Maybe next this summer, early in this summer this year, we could have covering all the space here. So it's very good shady. It's just permaculture, no any cost, no any renovation for it to be built again. We just put some trailers, then it creeps up to its far. Then we control it when we don't need to be it's very good for a uh, necessary i encourage you guys that everyone can go permaculturally this is simple you just take a plant you plant it and then it will grow provide a long a lot of shade for you so you can have a organic and indigenous necessary behind me guys this is a tree that was planted by a parent of a short-term missionary they a group of of these parents came and planted 50 trees and this one this lemon tree is starting to fruit how exciting is that? These trees are breaking our reliance on the store. This fruit that's coming here was only from rainwater and we're going to feed it to the pigs so that this tree can get bigger and have more fruit next year. We are also excited uh, that uh, we are nearing the academic year of our farm here. Uh, the students will be graduating. There's just a lot of things to celebrate. Behind me you will notice I am standing uh, between two banana fruits that are very very thriving and are good uh, these bananas were planted right when we started and it's so amazing uh, to see them now fruiting and uh, they are about to ripen out and we'll be eating them soon uh, that speaks into the the area that or the season that we are in right now because also with our students they are about to move into their uh, second stage into their next stages uh, so it brings an, uh, an excitement into my heart about the growth of the farm in, in, in general everything in the farm the crops the fruit trees the animals that we were uh, able to accumulate uh, up to this far and the growth really uh, in the people especially the students they are also uh, thriving and they are amazing in what the Lord has uh, in their hearts. Uh, really, me, I, I mean those guys, uh, they can conquer a mountain, uh, the, the, the force that they have right now and the character that they have uh, developed as they have been in the farm. They are now taking initiative, they are now able to lead especially churches. Uh, we, we take them to projects to lead churches and to lead community projects. So it's amazing uh, how much they have grown. They, 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 they come from far. Some of them, were, when they came, they couldn't I mean, stand in front of people. 
but now those people are almost preachers uh, some of them are teachers uh, and also there's just a lot of impact that we've seen in the staff uh, the good thing that I love about uh, the impact that had gone to them is that they are now starting to implement some of the projects uh, the primaculture projects that we have here in the farm they are starting to implement them in their families in their communities and they are starting to make, make a living out of them uh, the good thing about that is that in the communities they still have a lot of people who are looking to them and uh, that's how we achieve uh, the ripple effect uh, kind of a thing to say who also ever have that positivity can encourage others to be positive too and to be able to 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 make means out of their life so i'm very excited for the year uh, i i i am so thankful to the lord uh, and i also invite prayers from all over the world for you guys to pray with us as we journey with the, this uh, concept that god is uh, pulling us through uh, you can tell uh, that the achievement that we've had so far in this little time uh, you can tell that there is more even more uh, that is gonna come in a year from now we'll be celebrating even bigger things than this uh, you will imagine that this farm has been uh, growing pineapples and we, we actually uh, had been dealing with dead soil actually so it's amazing the the the, the, the growth that we've uh, seen in the farm and the, the, the input that each and every one, the students, the staff that has put into making this uh, place to be a paradise uh, that is, it is going to be. Yeah, thank you so much. Hey Amen. Thanks, William. Really well said. I, I couldn't agree more. When you look at where we started to where we are today, especially when considering how much full-time staff we need to run a property perfectly, I think we're really doing an amazing job. And it's been a real testament to you your leadership with the staff and really with the staff and their leadership with the students we're seeing a lot of fruit in so many areas we're bursting so there's a lot to look forward to we're just getting warmed up i hope and uh we look forward for you guys to keep joining us on these, these vlogs and uh until next time salana gatley <laughs>